Hello, welcome back to the channel and a new Maserati video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I've changed the outer tie rod end on the front passenger side of my 2006 Maserati Quattroporte M139 Duo Select. When I had the car MOT'd, I received an advisory to say that there was some slight play in the tie rod end. Looking at the inside edge of the tyre, I could also see some wear. I'm also going to show you how I've removed the lock nut using a nut splitter tool because it was completely seized and I couldn't free it up using heat or penetrating oil. Over two days when not using the car, I sprayed WD-40 penetrating oil on the lock nut, nylock nut and tie rod end at regular intervals to make removal easier. I also used a wire brush to remove corrosion on the threads of the tie rod and lock nut. I know my alignment's out, but to fit the new tie rod in roughly the same position, I counted the number of exposed threads on the tie rod. I sprayed more WD-40 on the nut before using a 17mm socket and wrench to remove it. Next I used this magnetic tool to remove the washer. Replacing the nut, I used a socket and wrench to turn the nut so it had a few threads on the bolt. This avoids the tie rod from dropping down when the tie rod end is removed from the front hub holder. I used this tie rod end extractor tool to remove the tie rod end from the hub. As you can see here, tightening the bolt forces the top part of the tool down, applying a force to the top of the bolt. If you don't have this tool, you can use a hammer to hit the top of the nut and something like the end of a socket extension to fully extract it. It didn't matter about damage in the nut because the tie rod ends that I bought came with a new one. With the tie rod end now detached, I remove it from the hub. The lock nut was completely seized and despite applying heat using gas and lots of WD-40, I just couldn't undo it. So after spraying more WD-40 on the lock nut and tie rod end, I fitted a 13mm spanner on the tie rod and 19mm on the tie rod end. Because it's right hand threaded, I turned the tie rod end anti-clockwise to untighten it. Using this extractor tool, I used it to remove the shim from the tie rod end and then cleaned it up using my rotary tool and wire wheel. Now I'm ready to remove the seized lock nut from the tie rod using a nut splitter tool. I feed the threaded part of the tie rod through the eye of the nut splitter tool. To help with the process of splitting the nut, I refitted the shim, screwed the old tie rod end onto the tie rod and fitted it back onto the hub. I then put the top nut back on and tightened it up a few threads. I positioned the chisel part of the nut splitter tool on the flat side of the nut before tightening up using a 19mm socket and wrench. To avoid the risk of damaging the threads on the tie rod, I kept checking to make sure the chisel didn't cut through the nut fully. I undid the nut splitter tool and used the 13mm spanner to rotate the tie rod 180 degrees before repeating the process.
With the chisel forced down on both sides of the nut, I removed the tie rod end from the hub, unscrewed the tie rod end and removed the nut splitter tool. On this occasion I found that the force of the chisel on both sides of the nut had broken it away from the threads of the tie rod and I was able to undo it by hand. Using a thread gauge tool I measured the thread on the tie rod and found it to have a 1.5mm pitch. Using a thread restoration file I used the 1.5mm pitch file to remove any burrs on the thread. I used my multi-tool and wire wheel to remove corrosion from the thread of the tie rod and the recess in the hub. Using a paintbrush, I brushed copper grease onto the threads of the tie rod. Copper grease is an anti-seize compound which with some annual maintenance will stop the lock nut and tie rod end from seizing up in the future. Taking the new nut, I screwed it onto the thread of the tie rod. As you can see here, the new nut is thicker than the old one by about three threads. I originally counted ten threads, so I positioned the new nut so seven threads are exposed. The new tie rod ends are made by TRW and I checked to ensure the new ones are identical to old. I put the Maserati part number in the description below. After screwing the new tie rod end onto the tie rod, I used some general purpose grease to apply to the tapered part of the tie rod end before inserting it into the shim on the hub. It's important not to get any grease on the threads of the tie rod end as this affects the torque when tightening it up. I insert the washer and fit the new nut. Using a 17mm socket and wrench, I fully tighten the nut. Once I've replaced the tie rod end on the other side of the car and with the wheels back on, I'll let the car off the jacks and with the weight of the car on the tie rod ends, I'll turn the wheels on full lock and re-tighten with the torque wrench. Finally, to remove any grime and WD-40 from this job, I clean the disc with brake cleaner and cloths. And that's the outer tie rod end changed on the front side of my Maserati. In my next video, I'm going to be changing the tie rod end on the other side of the car. Now that was much more problematic because both the lock nut and the tie rod end were completely seized. So if you'd like to see that video and future videos, then please subscribe, click on the notification bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I upload new content. Thank you for watching. Cheers.